and I appreciate you, and I know that you will fight for me, and we'll let it work. I know, but I, I, I can't say I can't say yes right now. My child support check with me. Boy, this weekend we had a time, and it was all on that man's dime. We started out starting off with seven dollars and fifty cents, so I hit it straight to the bank. I took out all that money because I just knew I was about to spend it up. I went to the beauty supply store because you know I got to look good after them funds hit. I did. My Hey, what? My hair, my makeup, my nails, and I sprayed some of my $130 perfume that I bought with my last check. Then I went to dinner at the Urban Oyster and I ordered everything that I possibly could on the menu. It's a setup. Because why not? He's literally paying for it. No shit. I'm a baby mama. Of course I'm gonna go out to dinner. And this is the reason why a lot of men have a problem with child support. I'm not mad. I'm mad. I'm seeing everything you bought except for what you bought for your child. And that's a problem. See, what women have to understand is this. When you no longer love a woman, bro, and you still got to take care of her, that, that hits you where it hurts, bro, because you know she's dealing with another man, which is adding, you know, uh, insults and injury. It's putting fuel on the fire. She's getting her cheeks clapped by another man, but you still footing the bill for it. And let's be real, man, especially in a young adolescent years of a child bro child support basically is more like alimony especially to you guys who sending in significant amounts of money for child support you guys got the six figure jobs and stuff like that and the money that she's getting is fifteen hundred to three thousand dollars a month that's significant money because i don't give a damn who you are if you're someone who makes four grand a month but then you have an additional fifteen hundred to three grand coming in because you has a a child for someone you're winning and men that don't sit right with us because we gotta go to work for that money. And we know it's not benefiting the child, right? Because y'all wanna go to seafood balls and all that kind of shit. And y'all wanna buy the most expensive clothes. And then a lot of things they do is go overboard with the children too. Like things that we wouldn't necessarily do because we don't wanna raise uh, incompetent, entitled, spoiled brats. We don't wanna do that. So a lot of dudes feel like the moms do too much, man. Like, bro, he don't need a new pair of Jordans every other day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know men who went through this, for real. 70? Not scared, you're not scared. Yeah, Joe has 70 today. A 70? Freeze, bitch. Yeah, so what if I almost fell in love with a thotty. My dog told me you got too many bodies. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Listen, y'all know I keep it real on this channel, man. I'm gonna always do that. And if you're a day one subscriber when I started doing the relationship shit, y'all know this story that I told y'all about the time that I almost basically went for a 304. And she was a cool girl, a sweet girl, very fun to be around and everything like that. But dog, she revealed some information to me that I just couldn't overlook, man. Well, it was the high body count for one. For two, she told me that she caught an incurable disease. And I was just like, nah, I can't deal with that, bro. I just felt the need to recap on that story just in case new people haven't heard it, man. Listen, I'm telling y'all, bro. Some of these 304s seem like the best women in the world, bro. And then they'll hit you. At least she had the, uh, the balls to tell me and put it in front of me so that I could make a decision on my own, bro. Because a lot of women would have just withheld that information and had me out here looking stupid. They don't understand why black women get judged less harshly than a black man who decides to date a white woman. Sister! I'm gonna tell you why. When black women decide that they're going to date outside of their race, if they choose a white man, it's a very, very rare experience that you hear a black woman say, yeah, girl, I had to date me a white man because a black man ain't gonna do this and a black man ain't gonna, on public platform. That's me. That's me. Uh. <sighs> do y'all ever get tired of lying? Oh, hell no, no, hell no. Man, first of all, every black man watching this video right now, though, that's a damn lie. No, oh, look, man, these niggas, white boys don't talk about 50-50. Yeah, they talk about black men just as much as the black men talk about them. It is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? They get together. They got TikTokers who are dedicating their whole content around white, uh, dating white men. And becoming what they call divestors and shit like that. They have whole channels dedicated to that. Real talk. How to land a white man. Because black men don't want to do such and such. I'm telling you, man. This, like he said, do they get tired of lying? They don't. How much should a guy earn for you to date him? Over 500k. Close to a million. If he doesn't, I'm not going to say yes. Do you hear me? How much should a guy pay for the engagement ring? Who needs to pay again? 
500. He gets paid every year 500. He saves that towards the ring. If he doesn't, he's going to get a no and it's going to be embarrassing. I genuinely feel sorry for women like this, because they've been lied to. We all have. This is what happens when you tell every woman that she's a prize, just for existing. This is what happens when you encourage women to only care about superficial shit when looking for a man. And ultimately, a lot of you ladies are going to end up single because of it. There are so many great guys out there, and you guys could have happy, healthy relationships. Long-term ones, potentially get married, have a great life. But instead of being focused on improving yourself and what you can offer your relationship, so worried about what you can get out of it. And that'll cause you to be single. See, back in the day, everybody knew their place, man. You never would have heard no girl who looked like that when I was coming up saying that she wanted a man with 500K. She might have thought she wanted a man, but she would have never fixed her mouth to say that because everybody would have kept it real with her like, nah, you don't really qualify for that. But y'all got to understand what it takes to make $500,000 a year. It takes a mindset and People who make that type of money are usually very confident people, especially if they in sales. Now, it's it's possible to be a nerd and get money and be a coder and you got a 500K salary. Those guys might take that big girl, right? Because they never really had women like that. But a dude that had women all his life and now he got some money, that girl stands no chance. A bitch can miss me with that, oh, I had him first shit. Bitch, this is my nigga now. You feel me? You tell me, watch out, catch your cut, this me. Mean, bitch, play your role. Be smooth. Yes. <laughs> and move cool, bitch. Face ain't even it. Once I got him, it's a wrap. What Nikki said, bitch, if you ain't shitting, then get off the pot. Somebody gets out of line around here. Watch out, bitch. Yeah, welcome to death row. Ha! <laughs> hey, you know what's interesting though, dog? Drop a comment if you've ever seen this happen or if it happened to you. You try to holler at a girl who is a friend of a girl that you tried to holler at but got shot down and the girl be like, girl, he tried to talk to me. Now, that's a part. That's part one of a part two question. Part two is this. Have you ever told your homeboy that he can't talk to a girl because you smashed the girl already or that someone you know smashed her? Cool. Now, what I want y'all to ask is this. Why do women feel like it's okay to block a man's advance on their friend just because he tried to talk to her? But in the same breath, they will condemn a man for telling this man that, hey, you don't want to date that girl because I smashed her already. They will say that one doesn't have anything to do with the other. No, it, it does. First of all, he just tried to talk to you. I actually smashed the girl and I don't think my boy would be fond of dating a woman that I already experienced before. <laughs> Does that make sense to y'all? Hey. Hey, any plans this evening? What are we doing, bro? Mm, not really. Why? Are you hungry? Mm, yeah, I can eat. I can eat. Okay, get dressed. I'm giving you two hours. Ooh, okay, okay. So where are we going? So there's this really nice Korean restaurant that I want to try and that I think you would like. Mm, instead, we should go to ST. <laughs> Say, bro, this is a, uh, a telltale sign that the woman don't find you attractive enough for her to go anywhere with you. A woman who really like you will go anywhere with you, bro. You can tell her that they got some food in the dumpster. She gonna go with you if she really like you that much. <laughs> Real talk, man. It's so crazy how they so they will throw that out there like like fuck your feelings, nigga. Listen, let's go to STK. What? No, we're not going there. You know what I'm saying? That's easily $150 a person. No, we're not doing that. She don't like. How much did you meet my boyfriend like? Hello, sir. It's pretty cool. We got the same nickname. Dumbass. Daddy. So. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> I, I I went with the newer model. Obviously, you got the classic. Does it ride well? Cause this one. It's got Ooh. great curves. <laughs> yeah, this one's got a this one's got a smooth ride on it. Um, so to not get confused, I'm thinking you call him dad, me daddy, just like we're not both reaching for the salt. She just slowed it down. Said, bro, I already know that ain't gonna fly with my subscribers. Hell no, we got some cold bloody savages in the comments over here, bro. I already know y'all have put your foot on that little boy neck, man. Nigga, coming your house talking about some. Let's not get it mistaken. I'm dad, you daddy. Like, nah, that we ain't flying. They don't they don't fly around here. God damn it. <laughs>
Hey man, but if that really happened to me, bro, I don't even know what I would do. I honestly don't know what I would do in that moment. Like, man, why this little man playing with me like this? <laughs> hey, he would never. <clears throat> we ain't even gonna have that type of relationship. Hey babe, I'm about to cook dinner. Do you want anything? He's talking shit. No, he left the phone upstairs. Oh, um, are, are you crying? Why would you take a picture of my private part while I was sleeping sending it to your friends in your group chat? I don't feel bad. You went through my phone? I'm asking the questions. Why would you do that? Shut up! Uh, Why would you do that? Okay, calm down. I no, think... no, because I trust you. I don't just walk around and lay around people like that. I trust you. Why would you do that? You think I went to God and said, yeah, God, give me that one. Give me that one right there. No. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't think you would go through my phone. I. You think I'm a joke? You think I'm a joke? Just say it. No. That's why they all in the mess talking about what shrimp you shrimp at. Totally different. That's why we all at the restaurant. Everybody talking about some, ooh, we can bring us some extra shrimp. I'm a joke to you. How would you feel if I went and I took a picture of your coochie and sent it to my friends and they seen all that extra meat you got dangling, hanging down? Wow. Then what? Because your mama should have got you circumcised. You got to embrace the pussy. Okay, you know what? Look, I, I don't think you're a joke. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? What are you doing? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Because I'm a grower, and you know that. You know that. Why would you do that? Look, I'm sorry, okay? How can... Don't stop. What can I do to fix it, okay? I'm sorry. Say nothing. And I'm a picture of it on hard right now. Send them a picture of it hard. Right you want now. me to send them? I mean, they've already seen it. They ain't seen it hard? Man, shit, why would you do that to somebody like that, bro? That's somebody child. You know men are very self-conscious about that. Yo, one time I was taking this freaky class when I was at uh when I was in college. It was called Human Sexuality. It's like a discipline within psychology or whatever. It was an elective or whatever. Man, this class was crazy, bro. Like she brought in some wild people. But one thing that I learned in that class, we was reading about like the human anatomy and how people view themselves or whatever. She said uh, what well, a book said that even dudes who are literally packing baby legs and baby arms still feel like they shit could be bigger. I said, hold up, man. So they got dudes walking out here with bazookas and they still be like, man, I could I could use another inch or two. Man, you're being greedy at this point, bro. Straight up. Save some walls for everybody else, goddammit. <laughs> nah, this is one of my favorite comedians on tick uh social media right now, though. I ain't gonna lie, he funny as hell, bro. Hey, what did you get? You know what I'm saying? I got a you know what I'm saying, steak, some loaded potatoes, some fries, some loaded potato skins with ranch and sour cream. Okay. And then I got, you know what I'm saying, got my drink. You know what I'm saying? You waiting on your food or what? No, I already got my food. Fuck you mean you already got your food? That's not like you. Yeah, this is all I ordered. Because like, you know, we, we didn't have enough like for us to get two full meals. So I just wanted to make sure you were going to eat. What, you dead ass? Yeah, but it looks good, man. Let's talk. Bro, you want me on a island? Yes. It's good. It's good. Like, it's fine. Like, I just wanted to make sure you were going to eat. So Girl, you tell me I got all this. Food. And you only got a salad? Of course I did. Yeah. I wanted to make sure you were gonna eat, like. Bro. Yeah. Babe. No, take it back here. No, here, take it. Oh, yeah. No, babe. I want you to get full. No. Eat it. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, man, this might be a skit or whatever, but men are good people, man. Ain't no real man finna sit up there and watch his girl starve. Come on, man. But I bet you your girl will sit up there and watch your ass starve if it was coming down to their last meal. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna say that. A lot of women are good women, too. It's just that I don't come across them a lot when I do this type of content. Usually, it's the most unsavory creatures that I'm seeing every day on TikTok. And I appreciate you, and I know that you will fight for me and will let it work. I know, but... I, I I can't say I can't say yes right now. Mm. Damn. No, God, please no. I'm sorry, Dan. Boy, this is this. I'm sorry. Man, look, you'll be getting beat up if it was in New Orleans. Oh <laughs> uh, no, I I don't think so. But why? Why does it matter? Like. 
with this with the timeline. Why does that matter? Okay. I'll do that. Okay. okay. Damn. Thank you. So good. They won't understand. Well, why he did it though? That's the that's the part I want to. Hey man, as a man, you gotta handle your business and do what you gotta do, man. He knew it wasn't right. That's all it was. Yeah, yeah I'm good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Say, bro, listen, I ain't never been married before, but I know for one thing, if a man went through the trouble of getting a damn uh, tuxedo and getting with the woman to organize the wedding and everything like that, and then for him to call it off at the altar, this man knows something or he had an epiphany and he just knows that this ain't the woman for him. Like, bro, people got to stop acting like this man evil and shit like that. Nah, this ain't nothing but a big ass party and celebration for her anyway. He gets nothing out of this, but for him to do this in front of her friends and family and his friends and family, it's some real shit that he know that we don't know about. And if y'all could help me figure out what's going on here, that would be absolutely terrific. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't know, but I know for sure there's something. Hey, what did you get? You know what I'm saying? I got a, you know what I'm saying? Steak, some loaded potatoes, okay. some fries. Some loaded potato skins with ranch and sour cream. Okay. And then I got, you know what I'm saying, got my drink. You know what I'm saying? You waiting on your food or what? No, I already got my food. Fuck you mean you already got your food? Yeah, that's not like you. Yeah, this is all I ordered. Because, like, you know, we, we didn't have enough, like, for us to get two full meals, so I just wanted to make sure you were gonna eat. What, you dead ass? Yeah. But it looks good, babe. Let's talk. Bro, you owe me on a island? Yes. It's good, it's good. Like, it's fine. Like, I just wanted to make sure you were gonna eat, so. Bro, you tell me I got all this food. And you only got a salad? Of course I did. Yeah. I wanted to make sure you were gonna eat, like. Bro. Yeah. Babe, no, take it back here. No, here, take it. Oh, yeah. No, babe, I want you to get full. Oh, no. eat it. Just eat it. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, man, this might be a skit or whatever, but men are good people, man. Ain't no real man finna sit up there and watch his girl starve. Come on, man. But I bet you your girl will sit up there and watch your ass starve if it was coming down to their last meal. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna say that. A lot of women are good women, too. It's just that I don't come across them a lot when I do this type of content. Usually, it's the most unsavory creatures that I'm seeing every day on TikTok. <clears throat>